This is Gene from PJG's Jewelry Studios. I want to make a bracelet today, and I appreciate it if y'all would come along and watch me. And uh, I've already cut the wires to save some time. But what they are is the center wire is a pattern wire. And it's uh, five and a half inches long, which will make a seven inch bracelet. <clears throat> the outside wires are four uh, square wires that have been twisted. Two of them are sterling silver, two of them are gold filled wire. And they are seven and a half inches long. And uh, then I've got wrap wire here, which is 18 gauge, half round, half hard. And I've got the uh, hook and the catch wire here, which is uh, the catch is three inches long and the uh, hook is three and a half inches long. And they're 16 gauge round, dead soft, gold filled wires. So we'll start putting them together. Now I gotta, we'll have to take and mark the uh, <coughs> wires here. And uh, I uh, use a marking in a Sharpie. And I put this on the ruler. Now this is five and a half inches long. So the half of that is two and three quarters. So if you put the end of it on two and three quarters right here, it's two and three quarters down here, and the center will be right here. That's beyond the zero. All right, then I'm going to come up, oh, I'll say probably about seven-eighths of an inch from the center out, seven-eighths of an inch. That'd be about right there. Now, the center mark was just a reference mark. It's, I'm not wrapping there. I'm only wrapping on these two outside ones for now. And uh, so use a piece of this wrap wire. Get my wires here. <clears throat> and take and bend this wire over a little bit over to your left. The flat part say facing up because this is half a round wire. All right, now we're going to put that right on there on that mark. We're going to bring that up and mash it down. Bring it up again, and mash it down. Just keep rolling it over, and pretty soon you're going to have three wraps there, which is about right now. You got Two and a half, and you're gonna make this one go around and dash it down. All right, then we're gonna take our cutting pliers, and these are what they call uh, flush cutters. One side's flat, the other side would have a point on your wire when you cut it, and you always want to keep the part that's cut on the flat side. Like right here, I put the flat side down on there, and I'm putting it at about a 45 degree angle so that when I cut it, it's got a, a tendency to go down there. And then I'll take my uh, chain nose pliers and I put them right on the end of the plier, the wire, and I mash them, mash it down, and I kind of lift it, lift it like that with my hand. And that makes it bite down into the bundle of wire. And it's uh, less likely to scratch anybody. I lift this one up and I cut it off. And I like to cut them off short to where they only cover about two of the other wires. And by doing that, they're short enough. It makes it hard for them to get lifted up. And now... See, they're not going to scratch me at all the way I wrapped it. All right, now I'm going to take and do the same with the other one. Put the other piece of wrap wire. Let's see, that'd be right here. 
this is the same piece I had. It's long enough for two. So we're going to put the pliers on it, bend it over a little bit to the left, and you bend it over a little to the left just so it's out of the way when you start wrapping. And uh, let's see. Or see the mark, there it is. All right, you bring that up, and mash it down, bring it up again, mash it down. One more time there, and one more time in the back, turn it around, it's the small wire. Now, a lot of times there'll be a little lump on this side right here, right there, so. What I do to get rid of that is I bring it back, pull it tight, and bring it around. And I've gotten to where I just do that automatically, whether there's a lump there or not, it'll take care of it. And then uh, get my cutting pliers again. Let me cut that off. Cut that. And then cut this one off like that. Take the chain nose pliers, put them right on the end of the wire, mash it down, lift it up, mash it down, and lift your hand up. Now that won't stretch either. All right. So now we're going to wrap the ends. Now the ones here in the middle, they was wrapped from the mark towards the end of the bracelet. These on the ends are going to be wrapped from the end towards the center of the bracelet. And here's how that's going to be done. Take your pliers again. And this time we're going to um, bend this over like that. And we're going to start on one end and wrap towards the center like this. Now, we're going to just get about that far from the end and bring this up and mash it down, roll it over, bring it up, mash it down. We're going to do that three times, and we end up with three wraps on it like this. And then we're going to take this wrap here, bring it back, bring it up, and bring it around. Mash it down here, mash it down here, and then we're going to have to slide it up to the end. And uh, so we, we put put the pliers on it like this, and we just push it slowly and wiggle it back and forth, and it goes right up to the end. And it's pretty tight, <laughs> it's not going to go easy. And about right there. A little bit more. There. Okay. Now we got it up to the end. And we're going to take the chain nose and we're going to take that little end and we're going to bend it. We're going to bend it like this with a little kick on the end of it. See how it's bent right up there? It's uh, hard to see with that shiny ruler in the way. Let me move that thing. All right, now, see how I bent it back there? All right, then I'm going to take and catch it again, and I'm going to bring it right up through between these wires here and roll it over like that and mash it down. Now, the reason I do that is that will keep all these wires here from sliding down this way. And then when you bend the, uh, for the hook and the catch over here, it won't be able to slide that way. And of course, with it being this type of wire where it's, um, twisted, it's, it's hard for it to move anyhow. Uh, it'll hang on the little twist in there. All right, now we're going to...
finish wrapping this. Let's see, I'm going to take and put this like this and get it straight. All right, bend that up. Mash it down. Again. Let's see. It's six. We're going to wrap seven wraps in there. Like that. And it's a little bit crooked here. We're going to straighten it a little bit. Like that. All right. Then we're going to take the cutting pliers and I'll cut that off there. Turn it around and take this little end over here and cut it off. And I cut it off pretty short because the shorter it is, the less likely it is to get hung on something and lift it up. And then, uh, like that, now it won't scratch it off. Okay, now we'll take the other wrapper and we'll bend it over a little bit to the left. Make sure we get the right side of the bracelet here for the top, which would be this side. Oops, turn it around this way. And wrap that up. Yes. That's three times. I'll turn it around here. And if you notice there, there's a little lump on the side. It's kind of hard to see. But what we're going to do with that is we're going to take this, we're going to bring it back, pull it tight, and wrap it around. Now that little lump is gone. That's how you get rid of that little lump. The reason you even get a lump there is because when you bend it around the end of the pliers, it's not bent exactly to the width of the bracelet here. The, the width this way. And uh, anyhow, that will take care of that problem. Oh, that thing is tight. Okay. There we go. Now. Okay, now we're going to do like we did a while ago. We're going to catch this little wire here in the back. We're going to put a bend on it. Like that. It'll just bend on it right there. Then we're going to take the end of it and pass it up through between these wires. Like that. And wrap it over tight and wrap it on around. Oh, I got that one just the right left. I'll have to cut off, but just a 30 seconds of an inch, maybe. Like that right there. And we put the chain nose on the end of it and we'll mash it down and raise it up. And then we'll finish wrapping that. And that's going to be four, five, or four and a half. Uh, that's four. That's four and a half. And that's five. Five and a half. Six. Six and a half. 
seven, and seven and a half. And that's uh, one half too many. <laughs> like that. Anyway, get the cutters. Cut it off again right there. Take the chain nose, put them right on the end of it. Mash it down and lift it up. And now that one's taken care of. It won't scratch you. All right. Now, see, we can take these pieces of tape off and stick them on the side of the desk here, the table, and reuse them for a time or two before they get to where they won't stick good. And here we go. That's a pretty pattern wire in there. Okay, now we're going to need that ruler back. And we're going to cut these end pieces off to uh, five eighths of an inch. So five eighths of an inch would be right here. And straight across to there. Five eighths of this one. Right here. All right. Now we're gonna take and cut them off. Mm -hmm. Rubber back out of the way. Wraps out of the way. All right, that's that in. Now we do the same with this and then cut it off. You cut that wire, you want to make sure it don't fly. Because if you just take it like this and cut it, and it'll shoot out of there sometimes. I know the lady that got a piece stuck in her jaw from, from somebody else cutting the wire across the table from her. So you got to be very careful. All right. Now, let's see. Now we're going to take the bell-making pliers. All right, that's these pliers here. And the small end is what we're going to bend the these around with. All right, we're going to turn this wire over to get the inside of the bracelet facing up right now. We're going to put this in here like this and squeeze it as tight as you can and bring it around tight, tight against the uh, dowel here. And then you're going to let your flower slip back and you're going to kick it back just a little. And you're going to end up with something looking like that. All right, then you do the same with the other side. Put the bars on it like that. Don't let it stick up. Squeeze it real tight. Bring it around all as far as you can. Then kick it back. And you got that one fixed the same way. So now we're ready to make the hook and the catch. Okay, we'll make the hook first. That's this longer one here. It's three and a half inches. That's 16 gauge, half round, half hard. And we're going to take the bell makers again. We're going to put the bell makers right in the center. And the small dowel here is going to, where we're going to wrap it around. And we're going to wrap it around there. And we're going to make it where it just about touches to about the same length, like right there, where they touch together. All right, then we'll take that off. And I got a special pair of pliers here I modified. It's got a notch cut across there. And that notch works wonders. When you're ready to mash this in, you hold it like this, you get about an eighth of an inch from the end, and you just squeeze it one time. And it's like a quarter key, and that's what you want. And then you take your 
bell makers again. You put it on here like this. Don't let it stick up. You kicked it back just like you did the bracelet. All right, we'll set it down for right now. Then we're going to take the big one, and we're going to get right in the center of the wire with the big side underneath it now. We're going to bend around the big side, same way we bent the other one. And we'll bend it around to where they're the same length, like that. Then we're going to take and hold them out here like this. And we're going to let, our, let the flower slip back, and we're going to bend that a little bit like that. Then we're going to bring it around here, and we're going to bend it a little there. And just keep bending it back and forth until you get it to look like that. All right. Then we're going to take and we're going to cut the, cut them off to one and one eighth of an inch. We're going to cut this off to one and one eighth of an inch, like right here. Okay, that's one. And we'll cut this one off. Then we're going to go ahead and cut this hook off the same length, one and one eighth of an inch, right there, having the hook part facing this way. We're going to pull that hook part tight as you can get it around that small dowel, and then you close it up. And then you do the other side, same way. You pull it around, and you can only go so far and it hits the other wire, but it's still not closed. As you can see right here, there's a, a gap in it. I'll show you. There's a gap in the, in the uh, bracelet right here where it's not closed. And uh, so when you get it all the way around, you let your plier slip back. You catch it again, and you squeeze it closed, and now it's closed. All right, and that's the hook. Now we're going to take the catch, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to put the big one in between the two wires. This time, the, the round part here goes this way. And you're going to squeeze it tight, pull it, pull it tight against the dowel, bring it around, and close it. And do the same with the other side. Now bring it around. Or as you can, let your part go back and close it. Okay, now we got that one made, except for one more thing. We're going to take the big dowel, put it on this uh, loop on the end here. We're going to press that up a little bit to where it looks like that on the, on the side. It's got a slight curve up. It's hard to, hard to see it right. But anyhow, that's the way that one works. All right, the reason for that is when you hook these, it's easier to hook, it's easier to unhook like that. And also, it by it turned up, it holds the hook all, all away from your uh, wrist underneath here. Instead of pressing in your wrist, it won't, it won't press in your wrist because it'll be up out of the way. All right, let's see. Uh, need to tweak this a little bit. 
Get, the, get it just right. Like that. Okay. Now we're going to put them on the bracelet. And uh, the way you put them on the bracelet is you don't take them and just put them on like this. You put one on or in, and you have the hook part facing you, which is the inside of the bracelet facing up. You hook that one in there like this. You turn it around. Then you bring the other one around and you hook it and it works real easy. And then you close that up like this. And close the other side up like that. Now, you don't let that stick over the edge, or if you do, it'll catch on something. And that ain't no good. And this wire here needs a little tweaking right there. All right, and then the other one. Okay, the hook part, it faced up to the inside of the bracelet. The catch part faces just the opposite. The, the bent part goes up to the outside of the bracelet. But you put it on the same way. You put, put it on one, turn it around, and put it on the other one. And it's easy, easy to do that way. You try to put both of them on the same time, it's hard. And then this one looks like it needs to turn just a little. Like that. And this one here. Like that. Now, none of them will scratch you. All right. We uh, got the bracelet pretty well made. Now we got to bend it to where it'll fit around your wrist. And I don't use a bracelet mandrel, just another piece of tool to carry around. And uh, I had three of them, and I give them all away because I didn't like them. I use this wire twister here, and I got to carry it around anyhow when I twist some other wires. So I put my thumb on it with the outside of the bracelet facing up, and I just bend that around like that till it makes a U, U shape, like that. Then I put the other side in and do the same. I bring it around like that. Then I take and pull these back and hook them in there like that. Put my two fingers in there and my thumbs on top. And I'm going to bend this down a little right in here on the top. You don't want it stuck up there like that. You want it to fold down about like that. You don't want it way down. But anyhow, what the reason for that is your wrist is not round, it's oval shaped. And uh, you want to bend this like this, where it's level across this way. And you take and check the other one. Okay, it's all right. And then if you'll notice, they're not straight facing each other. So you got to kind of bend that a little bit. And then you want this out about like that. Because when you hook it together, it'll pull back. See how it's pulling back like that? And that way it'll keep it hooked. And you don't have to worry about it coming off. And then uh, once you get it back that, you're finished with it. Taking uh, Here's how you put it on your wrist. You put it on there like that. And you take the and hook it like that. And then you take it off the same way. It's real easy to put on and off. That's a strong hook and catch. It'll never break. And uh, we finished with the bracelet. And that's what it looks like. Thanks for coming along.